I'm Jens Corny, the owner of Dragonfly and uh, the builder of Dragonfly. And I'm here together with my son, uh, Peter, and we want to show you uh, how our uh, folding system, what we call the swing wing system, how it works. Actually, many, to many people, this is a new system, but uh, <laughs> my dad and me, we uh, designed, uh, developed this back in 1989. So this is 32 years ago. But it's uh, the same principles on all the boats. Here we are on the Dragonfly 28. Uh, so for the 25 and the 28 models, it all happens manually. On the bigger boats, the 32 and the 40, it's backed up with electric winches. The system is based uh, on, a, on, an, um, on a block and tackle system. So we have an endless line. Peter, can you show the, the endless line here? So we have these two lines coming up from, uh, from the cockpit combing. And it's an endless line, so that is a continuous line going through the system. So the inside line is for sure is for pulling in the holes and the outer line is for pulling out the holes. So it's very simple. And again, uh, our folding system is based on using no tools only by operating these two lines. So uh, let's give it a shot, Peter. And uh, so if you fold, fold it out and what happens is that I will take this one down. So um, these, these two lines are uh, are hold with a with a, with a clutch here. So when when Peter when Peter opens the clutch, the flow will uh, fall up by itself. Because when we are sailing, the floats are higher, and when we fold in, the floats are designed so they go about a foot down and lift the center hull up so to give us stability. We don't have like a monoho, we don't have a keel with lead inside to keep the stability. So and the, the center hull does not have stability in itself. So we only have stability from the floats and this is why the float goes in and push up the center hull. So when Peter opens the clutch now, you will see uh, we have not designed any engines or anything. So the, so the buoyancy of the float will force the float out and uh, which makes it so easy. And this is part of the whole idea and the design. So uh, give it a shot Peter and see, Let's, uh, and show us how it works. So Peter now pulls out and you see basically halfway out uh, the float uh, does the job by itself and now at the end uh, Peter pulls the uh, fold outline also to, to get um, tension on the trampoline itself. Yeah, so pull it out. So it's nice and tight and close the line and we then have a mark here how far you have to pull it to pull it out. Basically, the boat one size full out now, so Peter will just, just pull the slack in on the backstay. It's a combined side stay backstay, and this is it. And now, very important, as a backup system, if something should happen to the, to the lines over years, these are, of course, uh, high quality Danima lines. Nothing happens here normally. But uh, what actually could happen is if somebody opens the, the clutch and the system would open. To prevent the boat from folding in while sailing, Show us, Peter. So we have a, a backup system on all the boats. There's a cable going down to the center hull. So when this is put on, this safety cable, the boat can physically not fold, fold in. So now the boat is rigid, basically. And now on the boats, you can stand on the smaller boats, five, six people here on the trampoline, on the bigger boats, up to 10 people on the super yacht deck here. Let's try the other side. So uh, we show what happens in the whole system here. Yeah. To show you the whole operation of the uh, folding swimming system, we we'll also of course do the other side so you see the whole process. So uh, uh, before we do that, you can see here on the uh, in-hole line, we have a mark here. So when, when this mark is here, this uh, represents that the float is folded 100% full in in place, just so you know how far you have to pull in. So uh, let's fold this uh, port side out. Yeah. Again, we take the endless line, put it around the winch just uh, simple one time and open the clutch and the float will automatically shoot out. I will just pull in the, the slack here. So, and again, like the other side, put the, the line on the winch to get uh, the rest tension on the whole folding system. So this way, uh, the trembling, the beams, the water stays, everything is pulled tight in one and same operation. 
Now, when both floors are, are folded out, uh, we can now tension the backstays. So, to tension the backstays is basically um, has the same function as a turnbuckle on, on the side stay, but this would take, tool, take tools and too much time. So, that's why we have this uh, block and tackle system that fun has the same function as a turnbuckle. This is to get tension on the whole rigging and, and the four stay. So, once uh, both floats are folded out, you pull the backstays as hard as you can uh, manually on the smaller boats. On the bigger boats, it's via uh, winches where you pull as hard as you can on the winch with one hand on the winch handle. So, uh, the, uh, I was talking too much, so the, the floats fold out now. And then, uh, Peter, you put on the safety cable again. And when this is done, we are basically all set. Uh, to go sailing. So what happened right now, we had a narrow boat, narrow in the marina or to, for the smaller boats for the 25, 28 to go on, uh, on a trailer and in a few minutes, basically in two minutes, you can actually transform the boat from a, a single hull now to the tramran and have all the advantages what a tramran offers you. Now we have been sailing and now we want to fold in the hulls. So basically when you fold, yeah, both in and out, you focus First on one side, then the other side. Never both sides at the same time. Uh, first one side, then the other side. Also, uh, this is a system, not in open sea, in uh, five foot waves, as in more than one meter waves to fall in the... This is a system designed in closed water, so within a, a harbor marina or uh, with little space to, to get the boat narrow. Uh, so uh, only do it in, uh, in protected waters with maximum 20-25 centimeters as a less than a foot waves and when you fall in always do it into the wind or actually even better downwind because then you have uh, less motions from from the waves so uh, yeah. let's give it a take here uh, let's fold it in so yeah now we do so I Peter will take off uh, the security safety cable we call it yeah and before you fold in, we now release the, uh, the backstay here. And, and be careful because it, there can be a lot of tension. So have a good grip here. And then just let it go completely. And now Peter takes the fold in line of the endless line, the inside line around the, the winch. And he just opens the clutch. Boom, it says. Yeah. And then one more turn around. And then you can pull it a little bit by hand. And, uh, but otherwise normally by, by using the winch handle. Because we actually need more force to pull in the hulls because now uh, we actually are forcing the hull under the standard hull. And you will, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but when we fold in, uh, when the float goes down, it actually forces uh, the hull up here. So we will have a, li a little bit of angle until we have the other side folded in. But uh, crank it in, Peter. So the trampoline, everything packs by itself. You don't have to do anything. You have seen it all. So Peter falls in. Yeah, it's, it's squeaking a bit because of the Dyneema lines. And then we have this, again, we have this marking on the, on the line. So it tells you now the, this side is folded in 100%. Let's try the other side and finish the job. So we can put the boat into the marina. We are now on the starboard side to finish the job for folding in the hulls. Uh, one thing, important thing is that uh, on our boats with a, with a folding bowsprit, the bowsprit of course has to be uh, packed in and secured before you start folding. I forgot to mention that before. But um, we finished this uh, second side, so Peter uh, release or unhook the safety cable and uh, just uh, release it and uh, uh, secure, uh, uh, the safety cable can just uh, lie like this, you don't have to put it anywhere, so just leave it like that. And same operation again, we open uh, the backstay here. Now that we have folded one side, there is, there is no tension on this side of the backstay, which is normal, uh, which is normal. So yeah, let's fold it up, open, open it, yeah. and. 
the crane and when you fold in the second hole it get it's harder than the first hole because now we have to to lift the center hole quite a bit and just make sure that the lines here just a second peter that the line here is here is over and not underneath here like like this as a this is bad news so just hold this line outside here and this here so it comes natural okay yeah I can hear we have a block squeaking. Uh, there we are. But now see the float comes in and this... Um, yeah. Now we are on uh, the 28 and same with the 25 actually because uh, these boats are uh, trillable boats so actually the float disappear under the main hull to make it uh, trillable. On the bigger boats uh, uh, the floats are a bit further out and, and you will see more what, what happens. But again basically pull in the line so again you have the mark here and also, uh, um, on the bigger boats, 32 and the 40, all this will happen with electric winch. So it's a line, it's a put, to put the line on the winch and push the button. So you don't have to use this. And again, for the small boats, the only tool we use is the winch handle. And now we can go safe into our normal slip like everybody else in a monohull. I want to I want here to explain you about our rudder systems. I'm on the 28 uh, performance here, um, but basically it's uh, the same principles on uh, on all our uh, four models. Uh, it's a rudder uh, kick-off system. So if you hit a ground, we have a, a quick release here, so that uh, opens up uh, a cleat that opens up and uh, the rudder pops up automatically. Um, we have uh, also let's say. Two rudder systems as where we on the performance boats uh, the rudder blades are painted very nice and high gloss and uh, they need to come up uh, they need to get out of the water when you're in the harbor uh, or when you leave the boat and for our uh, touring models we have uh, anti-fouled the, uh, uh, the rudder blades and if they have anti-fouling they can stay in the water no problem. Um, but to take the rudder up uh, for sure we have a, a downhaul system and again another line to pull it up so uh, that's easy to show here on the on the 28. So we have a pulley down system here. So open this, otherwise you're gonna pull up by hand. And then I just pull by hand here on the up, and up she goes. And that's basically it. Um, when the rod is up, I can only recommend uh, to secure the the tiller. So when wind changes, that the rudder blade doesn't swing around and here on this on, on the 28 and also on the 25 we have an outboard motor so make sure they don't conflict so um, yeah this is up so again to uh, finish the sequence to go sailing uh, um, and I'll pull the, the rudder down all the rudder blades are made in uh, in epoxy uh, composite so they are actually lighter than water so you when you release here then you pull down the, the, the downward system at the same time and make sure that you hear a, sort of a, a clunk because it's very important that the rudder gets all the way down and put down the cleat and with your hands just push the line in. Uh, so when the rudder is fully down, uh, that's how the boat is designed so the rudder is fully balanced when you're sailing. If you feel when you're sailing that the rudder suddenly it gets uh, hard on the uh, on the helm, difficult to steer the rudder is, is most likely uh, has gone back a bit and that makes a very heavy steering make sure the rudder is all the way down and then you have the right balance so that's how easy it is, as it is here we are on the dramfly 28 and i want to show you the uh, the outboard uh, motor system. Here we have a, a Honda 15 horsepower with uh, extra long extension specially made for this. Uh, 15 horsepower and it's with uh, power trim and electrical start so it's almost like an inboard engine almost. Uh, we have uh, the tiller here next to it so 
actually we can combine these when we are um, uh, maneuvering the boat. So I'll now take uh, the engine down by the power trim here on the handle. Engine goes down, very easy. You may let it a bit more straight. And then here we have this special designed engine chiller link that we, that we made. Um, so it's actually locked with a sort of a ball pen system. So just push here like a pencil, put it down in the in this design thing here, and then they are linked together. Works brilliant. And this is uh, this way it actually <laughs> works like your uh, strand thruster, and uh, the boat is uh, much easier to ma to maneuver. So um, to start the engine is just start here. Make sure uh, the handle is in neutral. Start the engine, very easy, and pull up here. Yeah, you know from all smaller boats, and then forward and reverse. Um, one detail I want to explain you uh, with this: the only thing you have to be careful of is when you uh, when you're motoring, either keep uh, the rudder blade fully down or fully up, because if you take the rudder blade halfway up and you turn this way, the rudder blade can get caught by the by the propeller so um, and it doesn't matter so if you are going into shallow waters just pull up the rudder like this and now you maneuver uh, the boat like uh, like a power boat so you, you can still turn so when you go into a beach uh, and if it's very shallow you can at the same time go up a little bit here and you can go into a shallow beach works brilliant so yeah perfect way for uh, for manure in the boat and of course this is designed so it's made you only open this when you need it. so as soon as the engine is up again and you go sailing you close this down one last uh, thing maybe a feature is that when you are in in the marina you are actually okay just to lift up um, the engine like this and you can and you, and you can leave uh, the the engine chiller support on so so this way it's actually okay if you're a bit lazy now i want to explain you about our cinderbot system and here i'm on the dragonfly 28 and it's basically the same principles on our all four models so we have this uh, cinderbot system uh, and the cinnabars are uh, laminated in, uh, in composites, so the cinnabars are actually uh, lighter than water due to the foam sandwich uh, laminated inside the cinnabars. To control the cinnabars, we have a, a line for pulling down, we also have a line for pulling up the cinnabar. Uh, basically, the line to pull up is mainly because so when, you, uh, when you're craning the boat or trailering, uh, this is the line to keep the center board up while you are transporting and doing, uh, doing other things. Also for your information, the center board is actually goes 100% up into the trunk so nothing sticks out. Uh, so that's no problem. Um, then we have this uh, special design cleat. It took us a long time to, to make this one and this is where it all happens. Here's the downhaul line and uh, we have a spring loader cleat so it pivots here so with the lines here and we pull here there's a small spring here to a ball so it actually automatic opens up when the center board hits something physically um, so i'll now um, pull the center board down and it's very important before you pull down the center board make sure that the line to pull up is released otherwise you can pull it down i open it here and now i put the the line on the winch yeah, you can, you, on the smaller boat you can pull it down by hand, but basically I would do it on the winch now, so it looks more controlled. And you actually have to pull, you have to, again, you have to force the center board down because of the buoyancy. So now it goes down, the up line also moves, and now you see I have a, a marking here on the center board line, so this is where we stop. And now I put the, the symbol line into the cleat. On some of our other models, there is uh, uh, a knot here as, uh, 
as a stop. Uh, here we just have this marking here. Now it's all down, it's working, and I can only say when you are, uh, keep the center board down while you are maneuvering the boat in the harbor, while you're sailing at all times. If you have a longer, let's say if you have a longer sail uh, beam reach, you, can, you only need uh, the center board halfway down. If you have a longer downwind leg, you can pull the center board up, but uh, in general, keep the center board down at all times. One last thing, if you go into a beach, which we often do, you know that you uh, need the center board up. I would just let it go because when you go slowly into, uh, into shallow water, uh, uh, you don't have this uh, sudden force to, to release it and you would put some extra strain on the lines and the system. So just open it and uh, the center board will float up automatically when you take it off here. So have fun and this way it never makes a hole in the boat. Thank you.